So if you go to the Apple Store and search for Technus, okay. So Technus, family of IELTS vision simulator. So if you go to that one, download it already. Download it, so we have it there already. So we're gonna open it, and you're gonna go accept terms and conditions, of course. And you're gonna go there for, to show the different uh, parts of the eye and different options and the simulation of these lens options, which helps a lot to make a decision uh, about your, uh, your vision. So uh, if you start here, this is a, how normal vision works. So uh, that's the cornea here, the lens, and that's the retina where we see the, the light and the light goes and the signal uh, goes from the retina back to the brain to see. So if you look here, so lights coming from the distance objects or close-up objects are focused by the optical system, which is the cornea and the uh, lens, the natural lens of the eye, and then falls on the retina, and then the retina will transfer that as signals going to, into the brain, to the back of the brain to see. So anything that's affecting these different layers, either cornea, lens, or retina, or vitreous in the middle here and uh, pathways will affect the vision uh, so we're here today we're concerned about the cataract which affects that part in the middle here this part here so uh, there's different conditions to affect the eye but that's not my concern at this stage uh, I'm just going to show the stigmatism part in which the focus is actually not to a point but to a different zones can see here as I increase the stigmatism the the amount of uh, the focusing on the retina is not uh, sharp and it's uh, it's multifocal like it's falling in different uh, parts of the retina which gives you the blur you can see the image here this is without the stigmatism and with this with the introduction of the stigmatism so it blurs the vision and that's important for us uh, because when we correct it correct the, uh, the the lens implant after cataract uh, this we have options to correct the stigmatism please myopia is a different condition which is the what happens with age so normally young people can see close-up and distance objects very well with no glasses but as we get older uh, we start to lose the focusing ability of the natural lens of the eye and you start to see that this iPhone here start to get blurrier while the distant vision is still okay because the focus is not falling in the retina anymore and it's falling behind the retina. So this, that's why we start to need reading glasses to correct that at the age of 40. So uh, this is what's called presbyopia. And th this is important for us too because uh, we have lenses that could correct the, uh, the, the presbyopia too. And then we have the cataract, which is our main concern at this stage. The, uh, the cataract is the opacity that affects this lens and it blurs the images. So this is the clear image uh, with, without the cataract. So you can see the, the iPhone, you can see the distance clearly. But as we introduce the cataract, the, this image will start to turn yellowish and brownish and you start to be out of focus. And that happens gradually over months and years and a lot of patients are not aware of what's happening. So again, from clear image to a blurred image as cataract progress. So what we do in the cataract surgery is that we remove that cloudy lens. So we clear that image. So we remove the lens. If we just remove the cataract, this is the image without a lens implant. So some people tell me, is it a must to implant the lens? Yes, it's a must to implant the lens. Because see how the image is completely out of focus and this this is why pa patients in the old days of uh, doing the cataract, uh, they end up with uh, very, very thick glasses because there's no lens here. So we missed, we removed the lens and we didn't implant an, a lens in its place. But if we implant that lens, once you implant that lens, you can get the image back in focus. So. What we're talking here today about is the, what kind of lens options do we have to correct uh, the cataract? So uh, let's go to lens options. So that's the part here. This is a table showing different lens options. There's one option here that's not actually those, this table, which is the standard 
plants. So uh, the, the standard lens is very similar to the Technus multifocal here. It can give you distance vision, but it does correct astigmatism, does correct near or over intermediate. So it just corrects that distance part. And it doesn't correct astigmatism either. And it's a spherical lens. Spherical lens means that the curvature all through the lens is the same. And this introduces some, some uh, knee focus at the area where it focuses on the retina so the vision clarity the, the image clarity is not as perfect so we found that making the lens as spheric means that the peripheral of the lens is less curved than the center which results in a sharper focus which is th this one here so this is a thickness monofocal gives you a clearer distance vision especially at night this is the Technus toric lens. Toric lens would correct astigmatism, which we spoke to, to you about a few minutes ago. And so this will correct astigmatism. The other option is Technus multifocal. Multifocal means that it has two full size, one at distance, one at close, but it doesn't give you intermediate vision. So the vision is out of focus for intermediate and has more problem of halos and glare at night. So that's why I don't use that lens at all. Uh, Technus Symphony lens is a good lens. It, it corrects the distance, intermediate, and near, but it's actually the near is a little bit outward, so it's an arm length kind of kind of vision. It's not very close to to your eyes. It's just out a little bit. It does not correct astigmatism in that version. Technus Symphony by itself it doesn't correct astigmatism. So there's Technus Symphony Toric lens. That's the one that would correct astigmatism and the close up distance and uh, uh, this is one of the best ones that will correct all your vision problems uh, and this is the most expensive option obviously but it will give you that kind of freedom from glasses most of the time like you say 80 90 percent of the time uh, if we look at this here this is a vision simulation of how the lens focus so we'll start first with a monofocal lens which has one focus and uh, this is how see the light is coming. It's, of course, it's not coming from inside the eye, but it's coming from outside, but it's just for a simulation. So you can see here at the near object like the iPhone, the there's no focus of the light. Intermediate is a little bit better, but it's not focused. It's focused at a distance. So that's why this, this is called a distance lens. So it'll give you distance, good focus of a distance, but intermediate and, cl and close up, it will not give you that. So this is a monofocal lens that can come with spherical or aspherical. Spherical, which is the standard lens covered by OHIP, the aspherical is the upgraded lens cost like $300. Uh, we have the multifocal lens we spoke about, which I don't use, I don't like. And these multifocal lenses, they have two foci. You can see here when I do a ray diagram. So we have focus at a distance and a focus up close and there's none in the middle. So the intermediate is not good. So it's good for close and close for distance, but not in the middle. And that, that's a problem because a lot of our stuff in is in the middle, like uh, computer distance, uh, uh, car dashboard, these kind of things. These are intermediate activities. And uh, so these are, these are deficiencies in these kind of lenses. And in addition to that, because uh, there's two images at the same time, give you a little bit more uh, night vision problems. The one I like to correct the presbyobia or the close-up vision is the symphony lens. So the symphony lens, if you look here, so this is for close, intermediate and distance. It gives you all of them. And the, it's focused for distance and focused for intermediate. For up close, it's slightly out of focus. So that's why I always say you have to move the stuff a little bit further away from the eye to be able to see with that lens. So it's not like 30 centimeters, like 45, 50 centimeters away from the eye to be able to see those. And some patients still need a little bit of uh, reading glasses for smaller prints up close. So these are the three diagrams of the three uh, categories of lenses. Uh, the toric lens is not, wasn't in this simulation, but we'll go into this one here. This will give you an idea how it, the images will be affected by different lenses. So. Let's start with normal. Normal people, they see close-up, intermediate, and distance in, in good shape. That's a young person. As we get to the age of 40, notice that the iPhone is getting out of focus. Okay, and then intermediate started to get out of focus. And then everything started to get out of focus as, as the cataract developed. So that's what happens with age. So either normal, 
then you start to lose close-up vision and then everything is affected by blur okay so when we do the cataract surgery with a standard monofocal lens standard monofocal lens with core will remove that brownish discoloration will give you clearer uh, distance vision but it doesn't give you close-up vision you don't see the close-up stuff so you need reading glasses so you need those kind of glasses to correct that if if you implant uh, the monofocal sphere aspherical it gives you a little bit slightly clearer image during the day not a major difference from the standard but during the night it makes, it makes a little bit of a difference so this is a standard at night uh, and uh, you can see a little bit of halos around like this. So the images are not sharp, very sharp. With the, with the, uh, the aspheric thickness monofocal, you can see it is a little sharper. But both of these, you don't, can't see the dashboard. Okay, you can't see them. Okay, because this, this lens does not correct the pulse up. You're going to need reading glasses for those activities. Okay, so that's the daytime. That's a, a daytime with the, with the, uh, the aspheric. And this is the nighttime with standard and it's nighttime aspheric. Okay, so this is the this is the first option. Okay, so if you want to get the reading part, so let's go to Symphony. And this one, uh, this is the cataract, and this is just by removing and implanting a monofocal lens. So we want to clear the, everything except close-up, you can see close-up. So with the symphony, it will give you that close-up, clear close-up intermediate and distance okay so but the close-up remember it, you need to be a little bit further out to be able to see that at night if you compare them actually the monofocal will do better for night time for distance you can see the distance notice the tail lights here and headlights and if you look at this one it's slightly more yeah <clears throat> so it's slightly more with the symphony uh, the, for night time you see a little bit of halos but the, the but the monofocal is better, but it doesn't give you close-up vision. So you can't see the dashboard, but this one you can see the dashboard. So this is the trade-off so of having the, the, uh, the extended range lenses. Okay, so what if you have astigmatism? So let's add astigmatism to the equation. So uh, without astigmatism, this, this everything is clear that you're a young person. And I'm gonna introduce astigmatism just to show uh, exaggeration here so without the correct this is astigmatism without correction presbyopia added and cataracts added everything is out of focus that's why people with the astigmatism they need glasses most of the, the time most of the days so uh, if we remove this cataract and plant a monofocal lens you can still see blurry distance and closer you can still need glasses even if you go through to the Upgraded uh, uh, toric lens, uh, not to toric lens, the, the monofocal lens, uh, the, the technis aspheric, it will not correct that astigmatism. You need to correct it with, uh, with astigmatism, with the astigmatism correction. Even if you implant the symphony lens, it did not work either because it doesn't correct that. But you need to correct it with toric lenses. So if you go to toric lenses, so this is the astigmatism, the effect. And this is the presbyopia added, it's more blurry. And then the cataract is introduced, and then cataract surgery done. So we implant a monofocal lens. The, the image is still, it's clearer, but it's still blurry because of the astigmatism still persisting. So the toric lens would have corrected that. So if we implanted a toric lens, you will see better from distance, but it doesn't give you close-up vision. But if you implanted the, the uh, toric symphony lens, will correct that so for example this is the technus toric for night time you can see everything distance is cl clear compared to the monofocal okay but at the same time not close up okay so this is with the monofocal without correcting astigmatism this is with correcting astigmatism it doesn't give you close up so if you go for symphony toric lens implant so let's go back again so astigmatism not corrected uh, is young and then presbyopia and then cataract and then this is monofocal lens so everything is out of focus because it's not it does correct astigmatism but if you implanted symphony toric lens everything is in focus so distance close-up intermediate everything is in focus compared to this one 
That's without correcting the astigmatism, without correcting the, the, the presbyopia close up, and this is correcting the astigmatism, correcting close up. At night time, this is without correcting the astigmatism, without correcting the close up, and this is with a symphony. So you can see up close, you can see the distance, but actually the halos are usually a little bit more than that. So this is a diminution of what's actually it, it is, it's, it's more than that. This is a multifocal, so let's remove the astigmatism and put a multifocal lens in. So this is again normal, the presbyopia close up is gone, and then the cataract, and then we did monofocal lens. So it does it see close up? This is a multifocal lens. If you know, observe closely, you'll find that the this is the uh, the iPhone is in focus, but the cups here are the. the they are not in focus, they are slightly out of focus, and then the distance in focus. This is a bifocal lens. We call it multifocal, but it's actually bifocal. Uh, this is a daytime, so uh, with the monofocal, night, nighttime with the monofocal, and this is night with monofocal, and multifocal. You notice that there's a much more halos and glare around light, so it's a major uh, drawback from that lens, uh, but with time it starts to get smaller. So the time starts to get uh, less and less because of what's called, what we call neuroadaptation. So the, the brain starts to adapt to these kind of uh, halos and you start to see less of them. So they get better with time, but they still see them even after the best improvement. It's still, you can still see it there. So again, so uh, again, we're gonna go monofocal lens, corrects distance, not close up. Okay. Symphony corrects distance and close up. Symphony toric with astigmatism would correct the distance and close up and astigmatism compared to this one here. So these are the options we have for, for the lens implants. And uh, again, it's your choice at the end. If we go back to these lens options, uh, so these are the lens options again. The standard is not written here, but it's similar to this one. It costs you nothing, it's covered by Medicare. This one costs like $300. This one costs $1,100 including the testing. And, and this one costs $1,700. And this one costs, uh, costs about $1,900 approximately. So it's again, it's uh, at the end, it's your, your, your choice what you want to do. If you tell me that you like to wear glasses and you want to keep wearing glasses, you can stay with the standard lens or monofocal lens. If you want to decrease your dependence on the glasses, then we can go for these other options. It's a, it's a good investment because this is an investment you're going to use the rest of your life. From the moment you open your eyes at the morning until you close your eyes at night, until the, your days are over. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good investment, uh, a good return on investment for that. This is a nice app. You can can just go to the uh, the the app store and download it and search for Technus uh, Vision and uh, look at the different IOL options and play around with it. There's a lot of explanation. You can play around with it and see the other options, the, all these options.